Hello everybody, Marion D. Weiss with Keller Williams Real Estate and on behalf of the whole team, we wanted to come to you with our monthly update on the market. Now, um, it's kind of interesting, if you follow our monthly updates, you'll remember or realize that last month we were not able to report on the market absorption rate because the um, MLS, the Multiple Listing Service, where we pull that data from, did not yet calculate it. And so kind of in my mind, I was like, hmm, something interesting is, is going on. So in any event, we have noticed that it, you know, the numbers were reported this month for both this month and last month, and the market absorption rate um, or inventory rate, I shouldn't really say, um, is up, meaning it is taking longer for homes to sell. It's not as fiercely a seller's market as it was in the last, you know, previous couple of years. Um, however, make no mistake about it, it is still slanted toward sellers. Um, when you take a look at it a couple months, ago, three months ago, we were at 1.3 uh, months of inventory in the market. Then we jumped up to 1.9 and I'm referring to numbers in uh, Montgomery County. Then we were at 1.9 and then we were at 2.2. And that's kind of the general trend, both in the suburban Philadelphia market, as well as the um, suburb suburban Wilmington, North Carolina market as well. So um, not surprising. The reason for this, and before anybody panics, um, the reason for this is, of course, it takes time to adjust. Uh, you know, interest rates were increased at a rate unlike any other time we had seen. And so while they are still below historical averages, they are, uh, you know, they've returned to normal. So they are higher than they were last year at this time, and they have returned to normal. So some of the numbers, of course, will reflect that. Um, what we've been watching, however, so of course, to jump from, let's just say Montgomery County, 1.3 to 1.9, um, that's quite a big jump. Um, and I think what we've seen the last couple months is the market adjusting to that new normal. So imagine you're riding a bike, right? And you're riding a bike and you change gears. That's There's that uncomfortable like, you know, that happens um, before you get into the next gear. That's kind of where we were is the market and, and buyers in the marketplace and sellers in the marketplace needing to adjust to the new normal of where we are now. And that kind of gets a little messy, a little loud, um, but I do think we are starting to get to that point where the new normal is um, accepted or understood perhaps a little bit more. And that's really important because as a buyer in the marketplace, this is a great opportunity for you. That means that you may be able to pick up certain homes a little bit more easily than you could have in years past. As a seller, that means if you are that um, home with deferred maintenance on a busy road that backs to train tracks, you're not going to have people clamoring at your door like they once were because you need to adjust for uh, the market and what's out there. So we do see that there are still situations that buyers are in bidding wars and people are waiving inspections or waiving appraisals. And then there are other properties that are sitting a little bit longer or that are in a demographic that is not moving as swiftly um, as perhaps other demographics. So uh, long story short, regardless of where you are, a real estate is hyper, hyper local. And even these countywide statistics are not going to be as accurate as they need to be for your particular home in your neighborhood and your situation. So uh, if you are looking to make a move in any capacity this year, please reach out to us. We are more than happy to have a no obligation consultation with you and to review the numbers specific to you um, to help you make those good decisions. OK, so have a great uh, rest of your month. Enjoy the spring, you know, colors and feelings and temperatures, uh, quite frankly. And we'll be here if we can help. Thanks so much. Bye.